you can have functions return values that's something common any function that does some calculations would probably have a value that the caller is interested in so you have to send it back the way to send back a value is using the return keyword okay so return can send any value it can send a string it can send the number an object could be anything so let's say i return back the string rather than just print it in the console I'm going to remove the console.log and then I return the string instead. All right. Now I can assign the return value to a variable. Again, this shouldn't be a surprise. A lot of languages do this. For return value equals say hello. Okay. I'm going to get rid of 42 because it's not required. All right. So now what's going to happen is when the JavaScript interpreter runs, it goes through these lines, says, okay, I got the function registered. It's gonna move on to line seven. Line seven, it's gonna say, okay, the right-hand side is a function execution. So it pulls up the function that was registered and then it executes it. So the execution says, hey, return this value. So it's gonna hold on to that value and assign it to the left-hand side, which is the return value. So if I were to run this, nothing happens because, well, Nothing is printed on the console, but something does happen, which is the value gets assigned to the return value variable. Okay, but we are not printing it. Now, if I were to examine the return value variable, you see the value gets printed. Return can have multiple data types, like I said, you can have string or object or whatever could be assigned to a variable. You can also have an empty return. If I were to do this and don't return anything, then the return value will be, can you guess? It's gonna be undefined, yes. So if I don't return anything from a function, but I'm calling a function and assigning the return value to a variable, that variable is gonna be undefined because a function which does not explicitly return a value is going to return an undefined value, okay? So if you have something like this, just return without specifying the value, or you don't have anything here, it was kind of like the console.log that I had before, right? So the first thing that we did was we did a console.log of something. This function doesn't have an explicit return statement, but even this returns undefined. So you either return an explicit value, in which case that's what, that's what gets returned, or it returns undefined.